my father's house. Soon it was Passover time, and Yahushua went up to Jerusalem. Pilgrims were gathering from all parts of the country, bound for the magnificent temple, which stood at the heart of the holy city. There they would offer the sacrifices and coins of tribute to Yahuwah that were ordained by ancient Hebrew law. And they would give thanks to Yahuwah for his protection of their ancestors when they had fled from Egypt in days of old. Yahushua passed beneath the shining gateway of the temple and entered the coolness of the inner courts. Once again, he saw the place where he had stood as a child, talking with the priests and the elders, while his family searched the streets for him that had been after another Passover feast some twenty years before. All around him now he saw sly and crafty merchants promoting overpriced wares, pigeons, sheep, and oxen for the people's sacrifices. Booths were everywhere, and greed was on every face. Buy your local tribute coins from me. I'll give you a fair price, shouted the money changers. Laughing <laughs> among themselves <laughs> as they robbed and cheated the visitors. It was a loud and cruel scene, enough to sicken anyone who loved the house of Yahuwah and the meaning of this holy day. Yahushua was furious. He made a whip, and with it he attacked the money changers. He turned over their tables and poured out their golden coins up on the floor. Then he stormed through the inner courts, driving before him all the commercial people and their creatures. You shall not make my father's house into a den of thieves, he cried. The merchants fled, and the onlookers, shaken and curious, gathered around Yahushua to hear him speak. He spoke to them of the kingdom of Yahuwah and of the temple. Gold has no value, he told them, unless it is used in Yahuwah's service. Temples themselves can be broken down and built again. What is sacred is the power that Yahuwah gives us to be cleansed and live our lives anew. Now, in Jerusalem at this time, there were powerful people among the Hebrews called Pharisees and Sadducees. And when Yahushua spoke of a new life, one of the Pharisee leaders a man called Nicodemus was troubled. Soon after this, Nicodemus came through the streets alone and in secret one night to the place where Yahushua was staying. Master, I see that you are a teacher who comes from Yahuwah, he said. Tell me how a person can have a new life. For well, I was born once from my mother, and I do not understand how this can happen again. Truly, I tell you, there is more to life than this, said Yahushua. When your body is born, that is flesh brought forth from flesh, but you also have a spirit. How can it be born? It must be brought to life by the water of baptism and the flame of the Holy Spirit, which comes from Yahuwah. What is spirit? You cannot see it. 
It is like the wind. It, it goes where it wants to go. And this is what your freedom will feel like to you when you serve Yahuwah and only Yahuwah. The end.